This is a sunscreen, mind you. Oh, look at that, it's a whipped cream sunscreen. The best and worst body sunscreens of 2023. And if you are going on vacation or to the beach or just out and about, which ones I would and wouldn't recommend that you get. Now this all comes with a huge disclaimer. Literally, as a medical esthetician, when clients sit down in my chair, this is what I tell them. You do not need to go out and buy a brand new body sunscreen. You can literally take one of the sunscreens that didn't work for your face and just apply that to your body. Rub it in, have fun, etc. You do not need to purchase new things if you have things already that you're trying to get through. But if you are looking for something new, if you're looking for something in a bigger bottle to share with friends and family, or specifically if you are looking for something that is water resistant that maybe your facial sunscreen doesn't have, or your facial sunscreen that you didn't like was tinted and you want something untinted, that is where these come in. And in order to rank these from worst to best, we have to understand what we look for in a good body sunscreen. The first and most obvious is does it work? Like, does it make you burn or does it protect you from the sun? The second is the blendability. How does it rub in? Is it pasty and difficult or is it good? And we want to look at the finish. Does it leave you sticking to your clothes and your swimsuits and sand and everything nasty? Or does it feel great on the skin? We got to talk about the price because some of these suckers are cheap and others are not. And of course, we got to talk about things like water resistance and the overall experience that I have had. Now, let's just start off with um, a disaster that happened to me. I love Pacifica Beauty as a brand. But just because you love a brand or other products from the brand does not mean that everything is good. And I have to say, this has been one of the worst sunscreens I've ever used. I actually think they might've discontinued it. It's the C and She Sear Sunscreen Vitamin C Marine Extracts Sun Care SPF 30. I have tried a couple of the Pacifica spray sunscreens. I brought them to Puerto Rico and the US Virgin Islands just to, you know, apply while I was on vacation one year. And holy sh I got burnt. <laughs> I reapplied, I put this on. I don't know if I got an expired bottle or what happened, but it just did not work for me. And I was so disappointed. The other thing about these spray sunscreens is that you can't just spray them on, you have to spray on and rub in. And although I was doing that, I found that this was pasty. As you can see, the sunscreen actually kind of gums up in the nozzle here. Ugh, that is just a terrible experience. Even for the price and even for how much I love Pacifica, I don't recommend this. It left me sticky, it left me nasty. And I have found some Pacifica sunscreens sunscreens that I love, such as their new facial spray sunscreen with Ariel the Little Mermaid, but this this was an absolute disaster. The mineral one was even worse. I got rid of that, but sad to say, this comes in at the bottom of my list. <laughs> even for the inexpensive price, the smell, everything about it, not worth it. Now, there's another one <laughs> that um, honestly, I was like, which one is worse? Uh, I actually used to like this one. I convinced myself that I liked it. This was probably 10 or 15 years ago. My Shell is a great brand, but this was just not a great product. This is the Sun Protection Replenishing Solar Defense Body Lotion SPF 50. They say it's anti-aging. And you know, after the Pacifica debacle with the SPF 30 and my ass getting burnt, I was like, you know what? Maybe this will be better. Paste city, paste, paste city. Spending $50 on a sunscreen? Ain't no way. Like it's, this is terrible. It doesn't rub in very easily, especially if you just keep going at it, you just irritate your skin. And then at the very end of it, it leaves you sticky and tacky. This one is slightly better than the Pacifica one because I feel like this one actually protected me from the sun a little bit more. But when I went in the water, it felt like it completely came off. When I'm out of the water, it makes me stick to things. And I just overall had a terrible experience with this. This also has coconut oil in it, which my skin doesn't always play well with. And I just found this to be so pasty and so nasty, especially if you have a skin color that is Fitzpatrick type four, five, or six. Good luck with this. Now, that being said, I could see it working for some people, but it was just not a hit for me, especially for the price. I feel like if I was on a deserted island and about to burn and die, yes, I would definitely use this. But if you're spending this kind of money on a sunscreen, I want something cosmetically elegant that works. My Shell is such a great brand too. I was really disappointed with this. They have a retin owl serum, a uh, moisturizer, retin owl, a night moisturizer, phenomenal. And again, it goes to show you can have a great brand that produces some <laughs> products. Then we have to talk about something that I used to love. Again, skincare and the skincare industry was so different 10 to 15 years ago. I wanna say this was like seven or eight years ago that I first found out about Amavara and I was using their sunscreen sticks that I do like on the beach as well as some of their body sunscreens. Now they do have some body sunscreens that are still pretty good, but back then I thought that mineral sunscreen was better for acne prone skin. We now know that that's not always true and it's very dependent on the individual. I've also learned from doctors, 
doctors and derms and cosmetic chemists as I've grown, that mineral sunscreen doesn't necessarily reflect UV rays and chemical sunscreen doesn't necessarily absorb it. They both absorb it and turn it into heat, although the mineral ones do reflect a little bit more. But it was kind of a misnomer that I believed for quite a while, and a lot of other people still do believe it. But because of that, I would only shop for mineral sunscreens. Let me tell you, there are a lot of bad mineral sunscreens out there. Again, Amavara still has some face products that I really love, especially if you have sensitive skin. I love that they do take care of the environment. But this one, it went from one that I used to reach to that one, now that I have other options, I'm like, yeah, no, no more. <laughs> this one right here is the transparent, <laughs> transparent mineral sunscreen with Earthwell Zinc technology. It's an SPF 30 and water resistant for 80 minutes. They say it's safe for sensitive skin. And I would say if you're sensitive, you will love this. But for me, as I've tried and played with other formulas, this is just a no-go. Um, as you can see, oh man, look at that. It's like, <laughs> hang on. I probably have to shake it. As you can see, it's been a hot moment. It was just pasty. It didn't get stuck in the nozzle the way the Pacifica one did because it's a pump. But as you can see, it has separated and it did continue to separate even when I applied it. Now, it's not as bad as the Michelle and they do say that it's transparent. I can convince myself that this is transparent if I rub it in on my Fitzpatrick type two skin. But if you have skin that is pretty much any darker than me. If you're tanned, if you have ebony skin, if you have brown skin, I don't think this is going to work very well. I do like that it was water resistant. I found that it didn't make me burn and it didn't make me sticky or tacky the way that some other sunscreens did. This used to be a favorite, but now I feel like there are better options. So let's speak about some of those. Again, I used to play around with this. I did around and I found out and I found the Super Goop Play Sunscreen. Now this does not come in top of my list. This kind of comes in midway. This is an SPF 50 everyday lotion that has sunflower extract. Now it does say that it's water resistant for 80 minutes. And while I bought this thinking that I would love it and loving the size, I can't say that this was an absolute favorite. Now what's different about this versus the previous three is that this is a chemical sunscreen. So it is not a mineral sunscreen and it does blend in beautifully. The issue that I have is with the scent and how it irritates my skin. This formula has orange oil in it. It has some other citrus oils. And for some people, they love that smell. But for me, it irritates the out of me. And I'm very sensitive to citrus. In some products I can get it to work, in others I cannot. This just irritated me. I also found that even though it says that it's water resistant for 80 minutes, I don't know if I would say that. I feel like I did have to reapply it a little bit more often. But as you can see, it is totally sheer and it is not tacky. Now, if you don't have sensitive skin and you're looking for an SPF 50 and you have a little bit more money, this might be great for you. But the reason it doesn't come in top of my list and it's kind of to the middle slash bottom is because the scent just didn't work for me. Sunflower oil, no. And the scent and the irritation for my skin combined with the price, it was just a big no. Like right now my arm is tingling. <laughs> um, and that's just, that's just not going to fly for me. I don't think I'm ever going to purchase this again. I'm going to maybe try to give this to friends and family because I can't really use it. But overall it has some good ingredients, but I feel like it's the eucalyptus, the rosemary and the orange oil that just ruined this for me. If you're not sensitive to those, you might love this. But for me, it was a swing and a miss. Now this was really hard. This is probably one of the funnest sunscreens I've tried all year and it would have been my favorite if it weren't for a few factors. So this right here is from Vacation. This is the classic Whip SPF 30. For a use case, this is one of the funnest sunscreens ever. If you're trying to get kids to use sunscreens, if you want to have a little fun with your beauty routine, watch what happens. Ready? Watch this. This is a sunscreen, mind you. It's a whipped cream sunscreen. This is so fun and I wanted to love this. But unfortunately, first off, I put it on my face. Didn't realize it was breaking me out. Then I put it on my body and it started to break my body out too. The scent smells like a tropical vacation. The finish is pretty good. It does blend in completely sheer. It gives you a little bit of kind of a hydrated dewy glow. The problem is for me, the coconut oil. And unfortunately, this just broke out my arms. It broke out my face pretty much everywhere I used it. Now, the other thing that was frustrating to me is that I thought I had applied enough. I put a ton of this all over my face, chest and back and it's an SPF 30, so I was reapplying. But there might be something about the fact that it's like, it's aerated. You see how it's like whipped? I look at that and I'm like, oh, that's more than enough sunscreen. But when you rub it in, there's so much air in there. I don't actually know if I'm covering my body enough. And I think that that did lead to me getting a little bit pinker than I wanted. Now, I didn't get a massive sunburn. I didn't scorch. I didn't become a lobster, but I didn't feel like this protected me as well. And I don't know if it's the formula, if it's an SPF 30, or if it's the fact that it's aerated. So I couldn't like figure out how much to apply to my skin. Again, this would be one of my absolute favorite sunscreens if it didn't break me the f out. But if you're sensitive to coconut, 
This has coconut in it. And uh, if you're acne prone, fragrance sensitive, stay the <laughs> away. But if you wanna have fun with your sunscreen, if you're going to like a bachelorette party, like a beach vacation with the girls or the guys or the non-buys, or if you're just trying to have fun with your routine, you're sick and tired of the same old, same old grubby lotions, you have kids, you wanna get them excited about using sunscreen, this is so fun as a use case. And I wish that they would come out with like a fragrance-free, coconut-free SPF 50 version, because I would buy that right up. Also. You see how it makes me a little bit tacky? That was something that I don't think I experienced a ton of because I was wearing a swimsuit most of the time that I was using this. It does kind of make me a little bit more sticky. I think it's the coconut oil in here. There is some glycerin. I love the banana, uh, but this comes in in the middle because even though I wanted to love it and I do love certain aspects, I don't think it was perfect for my body. Now what I do wish came in the spray version is this. We're getting into the stuff that I do like. This right here is the Elta MD UV Aero Broad Spectrum SPF 45. And even though it says it's an SPF 45, I feel like this protects me like an SPF 50 or even 50 plus. This is a continuous spray transparent zinc oxide with UVA and UVB protection. And this is so easy to apply. Again, with spray sunscreens, you still have to rub them in, but watch this. Do you see how nice that goes on? And then when you do rub it in, boom, boom, boom. It's easy peasy. Now, what's fascinating about this is that it is a mineral sunscreen. So even though it kind of goes on with like a couple of white speckles, it really blends in beautifully. And I don't know what they did with the mineral formula in here and with the zinc oxide. I wouldn't say it's 100% transparent, but especially after you rub it in, it is pretty good. And when I sprayed this on, I was also thinking like, I hope that I'm covering my body enough, like very similar to the whipped cream sunscreen. I was like, it's aerated. Am I getting enough? But I was able to use this in the sun and not burn, even when I wasn't reapplying as much as I should have. Now they say that this is water resistant. I found that to be pretty true as well. Of course, if it's water resistant, you still need to reapply. It's resistant, not waterproof. You need to apply after, but this was a little bit better for me. The reason it doesn't come in higher on the list is because of the price. This is expensive. Application, super easy. Formula, really good. Non-irritating, it's full body. You could use it on the face even. It's fragrance free, so really good for sensitive skin, but this is expensive. So if you have the money, if you're studying to become a dermatologist, if you're in the medical field, if you love to be a little bougie with your skincare and you know what's good and what's worth the money versus the hype, like no fragrance, no whipped cream, exciting disaster, but you want something effective, great. But if you are worried about rubbing it in, you're not a fan of mineral sunscreens or you're a little bit more price sensitive, this might not be perfect for you. Now, this was a really hard decision. There are two sunscreens that I'm actually a huge fan of that my body yaddy 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 loves, but they're a little bit more pricey. One is mineral and one is chemical. The Super Goop versus the Dr. Sam. I would say these come in almost on like the same little pedestal. Like if I could give them both the same rating or same award, I probably would, but for different reasons. And if you forced me to make a decision, I would Say that the Super Goop Play Spray SPF 30 is not quite as good as the Dr. Sam's SPF 50 mineral sunscreen. This right here is the Super Goop Play, and I love this. It's an SPF 30, it's a vitamin C infused, and it actually has a nice spray with like an oily texture. It doesn't get all gummed up in the lid, and it is absolutely sheer. Watch this. Look at that, totally sheer. So good for back applications, great for my back acne, and it doesn't irritate me the way that the other Super Goop Play did. It's also water resistant for 30 minutes. Now the issue that I have with this is that it's an SPF 30. Depending on what you apply it over, it can kind of peel up a little bit, but it doesn't make me stick to anything. And I really did love this. However, I wish it was higher than an SPF 30. And a lot of other people who I've recommended it to have said that it's too oily for them. Listen, if I'm going to the beach, I'm okay looking a little oily. I like to look glossy and hydrated, right? And then it protects me from the water. Love that. But for some people, they do not want to look oily. Maybe it's from the modeling days. Back when I was a runway model, they would literally oil up your legs when you're on the runway to like make your skin look shinier. And photo shoots, like, now that I think about that, that's like kind of weird, but yeah, they used to like oil us up. And so whenever I'm like in a swimsuit or yeah, at the beach, I don't mind looking oily. I think it like defines your abs, or your muscles or some sh I don't know. Someone who's really into photography, please tell me. I love the look and I love the vitamin C in here, which is why this is a real hit for me, but it is expensive. Some people say it's way too oily. You know, it might not be right for everyone. So I would say this comes in a little bit less than the Dr. Sam's, especially because I wish that they did make this like an SPF 50. But overall, really good, really lightweight, non-sticky, 
great use case and um, makes me look the way I want to. Now, <sighs> Dr. Sam's is better. <laughs> this is expensive. This is expensive too, but I feel like this is worth it a little bit more. This is the Dr. Sam's Flawless Mineral UV Body SPF 50. This is UVA and UVB protective. And when they say water resistant, whoo, they mean water resistant. It actually comes out like a moisturizer, like a paste. But Dr. Sam is a cosmetic dermatologist from the UK and holy shit, her YouTube channel is a treasure trove of knowledge and her products are literally flawless. Look at that, that's a mineral sunscreen. Do you see how beautifully that blends into my body? into my arm. <laughs> um, it makes my body feel fantastic. This is literally like a luxurious body moisturizer combined with a sunscreen. And that's what I love about this because all of the sunscreens we discussed previously that were lower on the list, they're body sunscreens. Like you can kind of tell this one, <sighs> flawless, beautiful. I love this. And this was actually going to come in higher on the list, but I had to knock it down a few steps just because of the price. She pricey. <laughs> and even though that price is in pounds, if you do get it here in America, you know, there is a currency exchange. You have to pay for shipping. It is a little bit different, but this is wonderful because it does have shea butter in it. It is fragrance free. It's wonderful for sensitive skin. It doesn't break out my acne and it just feels gorgeous on the skin. It also has squalene in it, which mimics the squalene our skin naturally produces. And I love this, but based on the price, there was one other that I had to give credit to. This is actually new from Burst. I've been using this this summer and listen, if it weren't for the price, I would say they're pretty much even. This might even be a little higher, but sometimes justifying the price for 6.8 fluid ounces is difficult. Now with this one, this is six fluid ounces. The price is much better. I can get it at Target. It doesn't have to get shipped across the seas. And this is the Burst Total Package Replenishing Body Lotion Mineral SPF 30. This is such a good mineral sunscreen. And I haven't been impressed with a lot of Burst's other sunscreens. So I was shocked when they launched this. And I was also shocked at how well it worked on my skin and the price. Babe, the price of this is amazing. The fact that this is available at Target too just makes it so accessible. And I feel like this is coming in as one of my favorite sunscreens of the summer. As you can see, it's definitely much more lightweight than the Dr. Sam's. The Dr. Sam's is more like a moisturizer. It's thicker. This one is like a lightweight, almost feels like a serum after you rubbed it in. The biggest issue that I've had with this so far was the cap. When I tried to open this, I don't know if I just got a bad batch or like if they're all like this, I couldn't get the sunscreen out of the tube even after I opened the little sealant thing. So then I started biting it and I was like, do I have to take off this entire lid? I ripped off the lid and then I realized, oh, that was the dispenser. Like I need to keep that on. So then I was like, okay, how do I put the dispenser on? I looked through the dispenser. The dispenser didn't have a hole in it. So I like shoved a safety pin into it 15 times. And I actually went at it with pliers. That didn't work. I went at it with shears for like cutting gardening things that didn't work either. And then finally I went to the store, bought a safety pin because I don't have safety pins. And then I jammed the safety pin in there until it worked. Now it's a fantastic sunscreen, but I don't know what the was wrong with my bottle initially. This has grapeseed oil. It has cacao butter. I was under the impression that this was water resistant. It might not be. And in that case, well, we're switching again. Uh, Dr. Sam's is better because this is water resistant. This is not, but for the price available at Target, this is such a good one. And as you can see, it like, it feels like a serum on the skin. It's lightweight, it's non-greasy, it's super soft, and it doesn't make you feel sticky. Again, they just launched this. I'm still working my way through my first bottle, but I absolutely love this so far. And this is what I want and expect out of a body sunscreen. I guess it's not water resistant, does it say? Are you water resistant? Oh, it says, yeah, 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 reapply after 80 minutes. Put that on the front. Yeah. Water resistance to be determined. If you're price sensitive, this is better. This is less better, <laughs> less better, not as great. But if you're not price sensitive, mm, I actually, I, I decided to change my mind again. I'm flip flopping. I'm waffling. Wee, I love waffles. There is something that's better than both of these. Do you know what it is? It's difficult to get, but babe, I love this. This is my second bottle. I originally got this in, I wanna say August of last year. This is the Everyday Sunblock SPF 50 PA++++++ from a K-beauty brand, Derma B. This is so good. This K-beauty sunscreen is brilliant. It goes on lightweight. It soaks in beautifully. There's no white cast. It works on literally every skin tone. It feels invisible on the skin and it does have a light scent, but that doesn't bother me. And the best part is that this entire package is under $10. 
$10. K-Beauty is just coming through, babes. I know that I read the ingredients when I originally purchased this. I got it from Stylevana, um, again, back in August of last year, and then I just repurchased it because I love it. But it literally says one application, twice the hydration. If you want hydration without an oily sheen, if you want to feel velvety soft, I have eight layers of sunscreen on my arm right now. But if you want to feel velvety soft, this is your ticket. It is so lightweight. It is so beautiful. It is so gorgeous. And it feels absolutely blissful. Look at that. Brilliant. And it's under 10 bucks. This is the best body sunscreen that I can confidently say I have ever used. And I do plan to purchase more of this. Absolutely wonderful. If you're sensitive to fragrance or if you can't wait for it to transverse across the Pacific Ocean, then maybe it'll take a little more time and maybe something else at Target or from the UK is better for you. But for me, for under 10 bucks, something I can use on the face and body, SPF 50, literally does not make me burn, does not make me stick to my clothing. Mwah. Is it weird that I make out with my skincare? The comments, <laughs> the comments will always roast me, but I <laughs> love this. One time the editor, you know what? One of our editors told me it's not weird to kiss my little skincare bottle. You know, it's like kissing like your pet, right? Mwah. Mwah. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Did you know that I went to Korea and I got to hug a raccoon? Anyways, always remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically. Reapply your SPF. I love some of these and you know which ones I don't love and why. And as a medical SD, I hope this helps you find the perfect thing for you. But remember, you can always use the sunscreen that didn't work on your face, on your body, if you're really price sensitive. Overall, always remember to be a beautiful both inside and out. And I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.